Welcome to the Horwich Heritage Centre. If you don't know where we are, we're just off Longworth Road next to the Horwich Community Centre. This centre has been open for 12 years now. So if you haven't been here, I hope after this little film, you'll feel like coming along to visit us. I'm stood in our shop area. We've got archive and research facilities along this side here, including computer facilities to look at your family history. And then over on the far side, we have our AV area where you can watch any number of the films that we've made about the fascinating history of Orange. Our centre contains a number of uh, substantial displays, as you can see. The first section we're entering now is all about the history of the local works, which of course has been so important in the history of our town. You'll see this wonderful scale model of how the works used to look. We've got some terrific scale models of Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway locals. And over on this side, we've got a three quarter scale footplate of an original Orange steam locomotive. And of course the school children that visit us in their considerable numbers love to learn how to drive a steam loco on this footplate. This is our Victorian kitchen, showing you how life used to be a hundred years ago in a typical terraced house in Horwich. All the primitive facilities, uh, everything from the kitchen range, which came from Sefton Fold, to the mangle and dolly tub. Life was hard in those days, as you can imagine, and uh, it's always salutary for, again, our young visitors to find out how different life was all those years ago. Many people will wonder what on earth this is. It's in fact uh, the gatepost from the Fall Birch Toll. It's long before our times, but of course uh, there used to be a turnpike road running along both Chorley Old Road and Chorley New. And at Fall Birch, as at the Crown and various other places, there used to be a toll bar. And this amazing 200 year old relic is uh, what's left of the Fall Birch toll, uh, including remnants of the actual gateway itself. Not many people realise the extent of mining up on the moors above Horwich. This display shows an original mine tub going in what, into one of the mine entrances up there. Not only was coal mined on the moors but also clay and that gave rise to a considerable sanitary ware industry in Horwich. People might remember the names of Crackshaws uh, and Pickups and these are some of the artefacts that were made at those companies. People of a certain age will remember all the artefacts in this particular display. This is our Where We Were exhibition with items from the 50s and 60s. So you should recognise everything from record players, typewriters, old radios, coins, toys, everything that was familiar from life in the 50s and 60s <clears throat> that has disappeared now and might be completely anonymous to children of the millennium generation. We're now in our World War II display. All aspects of life in Horwich during the Second World War. Over here we have her <coughs> very own evacuee, little Johnny, who came all the way from London to escape the Blitz. Next to him we have our Morrison shelter, which many people built to protect themselves in their own homes from the prospect of bombing. Only one bomb fell on Horwich, on Lever Park Avenue. Fortunately no one was killed, but we do have some remnants of that bomb in this case here. 
The men from Horwich fought all over the world. Some of them fought in the East Lancashire Regiment. Others fought as far away as Burma. And over on this side, we have some of the artifacts of Flight Sergeant Samuel Evans from his time in the RAF. On this side, we have some memorabilia, not only from Horwich, but from the German campaign and the Home Guard. And finally, out on the outside here, we have the profiles of the men of Horwich who fought as shown in the local papers of the time and unfortunately 129 of those were lost so we should always remember their contribution and for those interested in naval warfare we have these wonderful scale models of British and German warships of the time. Yes I'm stood now in our main display area as you can see, the current exhibition is 60 years since the fateful Winter Hill air crash, but on a month-by-month -month basis, we change these exhibitions during the year. Having been open 12 years, we must have done almost 100 different exhibitions. And if you want to see quite a number of the features of those exhibitions, you could always see them on the films that we've produced. A visit to our Heritage Centre is absolutely free, so we hope you'll come along. We're open every weekday, 2 till 4, Saturday mornings, 10 till 12.30. We'll see you soon.